Welcome to the University of Regina, to the Faculty of Engineering and Applied Science. I'm Denise Stilling. I work in the Industrial Systems Engineering program. One of my projects is taking such as crop residue, like flat straw, and turning it into a value-added product, such as these disposable glass plates. Another project where the same pole was used included making a pole cap. The slurry used a proprietary wood preservative from Genix X in Atchison, Alberta, and made these pole caps that are placed on top of utility poles to prevent rot from the rain. Come to my lab and I'll show you some of the other equipment and testing that we did. Have you ever wondered what happens to your waste that you throw in the garbage? Or what becomes of the material you put in a blue bin? Here at the University of Regina, we're doing exciting, innovative research in where we're taking waste streams and making value-added material, products, and processes. Welcome to my lab in the Research Innovation Center. Here's some of the raw material that we process. We have wheat straw. We have flat straw. We have pieces of grain bins. We size reduce it with the knife mill. The size reduction of flat straw through the knife mill that we just saw can be done to make a fine powder. Or we can refine it using a wet process and make pulp. We also size reduce grain bags as a source of polymer as a binder that's used in our composites. Also, from Surecom Industries, we get crushed tire. You can see the different colors and see the actual cord as well as the rubber that adds to our composites. So manufacturing composite material with either the agriculture crop residue or the polypropylene polymer plastic from the grain bags or other waste packaging material and the rubber involves using the convection oven and custom design molds. Come let's see. Two sets of comp compression molds have been designed. One to make flat plates that can be die cut into making tensile specimens, as seen on the left, and another one to make cylindrical specimens for both compression molding and acoustic testing. In forming the flat disposable plates, we took the pulp flat straw and made a slurry and then vacuum formed it and dried it in place. In addition, we used the same process to make pull caps. The following is a mixture of spent or used grain bags combined with crushed tire and sand. Other things that we've added to make these new composites from waste streams include crop residue such as flax straw or wheat hulls or the leftover meal from canola. And we make products and samples and we do material testing. On the left is a sample ready to be tested and on the right is a sample that's been compression tested. There is some resilience in it but as you can see it deforms and takes on a new shape. This gives us the opportunity to look at different processes for making new products. Another important test to do is tensile testing. It gives us information on the strength and the rigidity of the product as well as how much toughness it has and how much strain energy it can hold when it deforms, which gives us a plethora of different of products that can be produced. But here at the University of Regina, even with our research, it's safety first before we run any tests. We also have an impedance tube to evaluate the acoustic properties, such as the absorptivity. Samples are prepared in the flat mold that I showed you before using a combination of compression molding. With custom software, we can determine what frequency and what the absorptivity coefficient can be and make absorption barriers or material such as acoustic roofing for damping out unwanted noise. Here's an example of a product made from our composite material. It uses the grain bags, 
the crushed rubber, and sand. So that way we can use contaminated material with organics 